ang ipakikilala namin sa inyo yung dalawang bisita po namin. And uh, I'm sure you're going to find this very, very interesting. Uh, ito yung kapalit ng amin mga medical tips. Uh, dalawa po yung bisita namin and I'd like to introduce our first visitor, uh, si Engineer Mon Mendoza. Mon, good evening. Would you like to greet our televiewers? Hi, good evening everyone. And uh, we would also like to introduce yung kasama niya, si Dr. Jose Panopio. He is a uh, surgeon. So good evening, sir. Uh, good evening also to everyone. And welcome to Dialem. Okay. So let me start off with uh, Mr. Mendoza. Tell us about transfer factor. Okay. Transfer factor is uh, one of the most elegant forms of immune communication. Transfer factor is um, one of the most important ingredient na available dun sa loob ng colostrum. Colostrum ay ang unang gatas ni Mami. Ngayon, uh, ito ang dahilan kung bakit merong immunity na nalilipat. Huh? Okay, um, ito pong information molecule enables the immune system of the body to recognize viruses, bacteria, pathogens, and tumor cells in the body. Once fully understood and put to practical application, transfer factor will revolutionize current medical treatments of various diseases. And the advent of transfer factor will mark the beginning of a new approach in the medical, in the treatment of diseases, which is immunotherapy. Phenomenal act ability ng transfer factor lies on its ability yung kanyang kakayahan pa, uh, i-activate ng cell-mediated immune system. Ano ito sa virus? Kung naniniwala ko sa bakuna, ang action ng transfer factor ay ang action ng bakuna. Kaya nga lang, ang, transfer, ang bakuna, it needs to complete. Kailangan niya ikumpleto ang immune process which involves several stages so it so ibig sabihin uh, mat, matagal bago niya ma-develop yung cell mediated immune response pero ang transfer factor it will take you a matter of less than 12 hours to induce yung same na immune response that vaccines are capable of so bukod pag, pag na-activate mo yung cell mediated immune system papalabasin mo yung cells na wala dun sa humoral immunity Ito yung una na-activate uh, na once na microbium pumasok sa katawan. Doctor, so, uh, can you give us a specific example ng isang pasyente na binigyan ninyo nito, kung anong karamdaman niya, at saka kung anong nangyari sa kanya? That, kung anong sakit mm. oh, ng pasyente. Yeah, kung yan. anong sakit. Cancer oh. patients. <coughs> yung uh, pancreatic CA, head of the pancreas, saka tonsillar, uh, parin, ton, tonsilloparyngeal CA, plus brain tumor. In matter of uh, one, one month or three of treatment, they had uh, maganda yung uh, recovery kagad. Matalong ko lang, hindi masama sa katawan nito. Hindi. How is it? it ano ba ang laman nito? Uh, Mr. Mendoza, ano ang laman nito? What, what is inside that capsule? No ang, chemicals, no? Wala po. Wala. wala. Oh. Ang laman nun, yung immune machinery. Tingin sa sa bakuna. Sa, sa bakuna, uh, it bo involves several stages. Eh. Kakainin muna ng microbe, uh, yung pagosite, yung microbe, tapos yung microbe, it, they degrade yon into fragments. And it, uh, it siya into fragments. Tapos yung fragments na yon ipapasok siya doon sa MCH2 class 2 major histocompatibility complex molecule. E, walang term tayo doon sa Tagalog. Pagka naipasok na yun doon, ipaprocess na yung antigen. Mapaprocess na, ma-integrate yung antigen. The MCH2 molecule is a heterodimer. Ibig sabihin, meron siyang uh, dalawang distinct um, uh, peptide molecules. Pagka sinabi mo two distinct, it is capable of inducing polarization. So it is capable of binding ant antigen. O, tapos once it binds with the TCR. Ito yung tilipocyte. Eh. This is the making of the immune machinery. Ito yung nandun sa transfer factor. Bakit siya, it, it is capable, so it, bakit meron siyang 
uh, yung immune cells natin nagkakaroon ng immunologic memory and at the same time a sensor uh, yun ang sensor mechanism plus the trigger mechanism which is capable of activating the TCR pag na-activate mo yung TCR it will produce yung several uh, post-porylation reactions which will produce yung interleukin 2 yung interleukin 2 will uh, eventually activate the cell trigger the cell mediated immune response now, once you activate the cell mediated immune response that's the only time you will napapalabasin mo yung cells na wala na sa immune system natin ito yung TC the killer T cells which are the ultimate killing machine of the immune system okay and that meron pa the TH1 cell itong TH1 cell will activate yung macrophages and the natural killer cells making them potent killers plus the TH2 cells itong TH2 cells will task the B, -limp the B lymphocyte to produce specific IgG antibodies which will be utilized also by the macrophages and the natural killer cells for its anti body dependent cellular cytotoxicity function making them more even potent killers yeah, Kaya but papatay ng tumor. May, may tatanong ako, Dr. before we take the, the next break. Hmm. Uh, kung isang pasyente, binibigyan na namang gamot ng, ng doktor, yung ba, yung ba pwede inumin kasabay ng mga gamot pwede. na binibigyan sa kanya? Oh, pag pwede mong ibigay sa in combination with antibiotics, yung whatever pathogens that will survive the onslaught of the antibiotics, transfer factor will take care of the rest. Preventing chronicity, chronic infection. Okay. Hindi lang ito. Ang maganda rin ng transfer factor, ang function ng immune system is not only to eliminate pathogens, but also to maintain internal homeostasis. Anong ibig sabihin ito? Pati yung garbage sa katawan. Molecular garbage, molecular uh, debris sa katawan. Tatanggalin yan. Anong significance yan? Pag may pumutok na, may CBA patient, cerebrovascular accident, ibig sabihin nito, may pumutok na ugat. Pag may pumutok na ugat, there will be an extravasation of the blood. Lalabas dun sa, sa, blood, sa blood vessel. Pag lumabas yun, eh kung masikip yung lugar, no two things can occupy space at the same time. Kung it happens sa brain, it will have to press on the brain tissue and the nerve fibers. So, producing the neurological deficits. Kaya may paralysis. Once you take transfer factor, it will act activate. A T-cell activated macrophages with uh, microglial cells, which are the macrophages of the brain, will clear. Tatanggalin yung garbage. So once tinanggal mo yung garbage, yung dugong pumasok ton, which serves as a tumor, para siyang tumor, na pinepress yung nerve. Kaya tatanggalin yun. Once natanggal yun, you will have instant recovery. Kaya yung patient kung merong na-stroke, matter of ilang weeks lang, Naglalakad na. Meron na kong itatanong kay Mr. Mendoza. Yes. How true is it na may binigyan kayo na may dengue na nawala in two days in dengue? Oo, meron ako. May yeah? patient ako. Oh. Uh, ito, uh, seven years old, tapos eh, Jehovah Witness. Eh. So, ibig sabihin, Jehovah, they do, ayaw magpa-admit kasi ayaw magpalagay ng ano, platelet transfusion. Oh. So, what I did, no choice eh, to give Transfer factor advance. Ilan ang oh, pills 70,000 ang count. Ilang pills ang binigay ninyo? One capsule pa lang. At nakadalawa pa lang siya ng capsule. Oh. From 70 to naging 150,000 ang count. Ang? Oh, ang count. Yung platelet count. Oh, oh why? Is that normal or ready? Hindi, hindi pa. Tapos after four capsules, naging 350 capsules. At 350,000 na. Okay. Yung platelet count. Tapos? So, tapos up and about na. Kinabukasan. Just four capsules of transfer factor. Yeah? May, may nagtatanong ko dito, sabi niya. It is capable of eliminating yung viruses sa katawan. No, because it's worth, uh, you know, I'm not trying to make a sale here. Ha? Kayo, inibite ko namin ni Maggie because we are curious and I mm -hmm. want the people to know more about your product. Yeah. Pero, siyempre, nasa doktor din uh -huh. yun yan. O magtanong-tanong yeah. kayo. Pero ito, pinakilalaman namin sa inyo because we are as well very curious about this. Ngayon, yung mga nakikinig, pero ang dami na namamatay ng mga bata sa dengue. That's why we, I... I